Hello traders, welcome to the daily technical forex forecast for the 9th of May. My name is Andrew Shineski, I am a technical analyst at Triumph for Fix, and as usual we start our forecast with the Euro USD currency pair. As predicted, the price continued falling and broke down the previous level of support, which is a great bearish signal, but the double movement was stopped by the formation of the new level of support, it's 1.1842. This level contains increased volume, but nevertheless, given the presence of the strong local downtrend and the fact that price didn't show any significant reaction after the formation of this level, we still should give advantage to short positions. We can enter the market after the confident and abrupt breakdown of the new formed level of support. The movement must be supported by the large volume, which should be a more accurate signal for entering the market. A stop should be placed about the breakdown volume bar and a potential of the deal is around 120 pips. So with the euro, short positions after the confident breakdown of the new formed level of support. The pound. The price tested the level of support, the local minimum 1.3497, but failed to break it down and now is located a little bit above this mark. But given the presence of the strong local downtrend with the pound and the fact that price didn't show any significant reaction after the test of the level, we still should consider a scenario of the breakdown of this mark, which should be a great better signal and will allow us to open short positions. The movement must be supported by the large volume, which should be a more accurate and reliable signal for entering the market. A stop should be placed above the breakdown volume bar and a potential of the deal is more than 150 pips. So with the pound, short positions after the sure and abrupt breakdown of the level of support. The yen. The pair tested the level of support 108.65, 108.81. After that, it showed an abrupt growth, but still trading in the local consolidation between the support and the resistance level 109.97. Given that large volume is concentrated within this consolidation, the best decision with the yen is just to wait for a confident exit of the price from the consolidation. The movement must be supported by the large volume in order to ensure us against a fake breakout and of course it will be a more accurate signal for entering the market. While the price is located within this range, we should stay out of the market. The Canadian dollar. The price continued growing and broke out the previous level of resistance, which is a great bullish signal. But unfortunately, the upward movement was stopped by the formation of the new resistance level. It's 1.2985. So we can open long positions only after the confident and keen breakout of the new formed level of resistance, the movement must be supported by the large volume, which will be a more secure signal for entering the market. A stop should be placed below the breakout volume bar, and the potential of the deal is more than 130 pips. So with the Canadian dollar, long positions after the sure breakout of the level of resistance. Our next instrument is the Australian dollar. The price fell down sharply yesterday and brought down the previous level of support. Moreover, the movement was supported by the large volume and the new volume level of resistance was created. It's 0.7472. Therefore, we should give advantage to short positions at the moment. We can enter the market after the smooth upward correction of the price in order to get a better entry point. A stop should be placed about the level of resistance with a little margin and the potential of the deal is around 80 90 pips. So, with the Australian dollar, short positions should be priority. And our last instrument for today is gold. Nothing has changed here. The price is still located in the local consolidation between two strong volume levels. They are the support 1302.20 and the resistance 1326.00. The large volume is concentrated with this in, the, in this consolidation. 
That's why the best decision with gold is just to wait for a confidence exit of the price from this range. The movement must be sharp and supported by the large volume, which will show us against a big breakout and of course will be a more reliable signal for entering the market. While the price is located within this range, we should skip this instrument from our trading plan. Let's take a look at the sentiment of the market. This indicator totally affirms all our trading scenarios, which is a great additional signal. As with the yen and gold, we must wait for a confident exit of prices from ranges and only in such case we can consider new positions with these instruments. For today it's all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with the latest researches. Take care. Bye bye.